Hello guys and welcome to Usitility. Today we are on the way to discover how to run traffic puzzle on your PC. Now you are able to watch it on your screen. It takes almost no time to easily download and set up traffic puzzle and play the game on the Windows computer with keyboard, mouse and big screen. So it's time to have fun, let's get to it. First of all my friends, to start we have to launch our main web browser. We open the one we prefer. Let's go to the current URL I'm highlighting in green color. Now, you are able to see on the PC screen. You don't need to type that URL, because there's the clickable link in the video description and as well in the first pinned comment. We arrived on this page on our own website of Usitility, at which we include a precise overview on how you can download and install Traffic Puzzle on PC. We browse lower a tad and click on the Download Game on PC button. Once clicking on that link, we reach the website of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we are going to use to enjoy the game Traffic Puzzle on PC. As you can discover here we have several pros of using that emulator. Then, we are on the way to start downloading the Traffic Puzzle by clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can see here in green. We then click on it. And the download step takes no time at all. Here it is. Here is located the download. It is an executable file. The following step is to run the installer, so we have to click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow modifications to the device. We have clicked yes. I reduce the web browser to find the installer considerably better. The installer is very simple. It contains two possibilities, install and setup path. I will describe what setup path actually does. We basically simply click on it. And now we discover that we they got here the path where the emulator can be placed. If we would like to change for better this directory we have got to click on the browse button. Therefore we decide on another directory and set up the emulator exactly where we wish. I am going to set it as it is. I click on back. So I just click on install. Voila. The install commences and it will progress along with the download of those MB that are shown on the screen. The time you download it, it may be slightly more or less megabytes. The data transfer speed might go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, depending on your internet and depending on the speed of the emulator hosting servers. Today they are working extremely fast. The download is finished, so at present it proceeds with the setup part. The installation needs more or less time based on the power of your computer. The more efficient it actually is, the shorter the software setup time and or vice versa. If we join the download and setup stage it will take quite a long time, so be patient. It has already completely finished for me. At this moment, the emulator has actually been started automatically. As you can observe, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar that will fill up then when it actually reaches the ending, the emulator is going to be started for the first time. The fact is the emulator is already started, here it is for the very first time. Before we carry on, as can be seen, it has made two app icons there on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon will be the only one we are considering. The moment we need to run traffic puzzle on the desktop or laptop, we double click on that software icon and launch the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon has nothing to do with multiplayer or even nearly anything like this. Basically, it is an software icon that we will most likely never ever start using. Why don't we make the next phase, which is a must-have, and which is to begin browsing the Google Play Store. As you can see now the Google Play is presented. At this point we have to log on. At this time the moment we're here, we must absolutely conduct the next phase which is imperative. So we click on, sign in. At this moment it announces, checking info. It could sometimes get stopped at checking info, additionally it doesn't proceed. If that's the case, you should attempt to log in in after a number of hours and it will surely most likely be corrected. At this moment we shall provide our email and password. The email address needs to be a Gmail email and its matching password. For example you may use the same exact email you are using at this moment in your YouTube account. Thus I am going to submit my info and I will come back when I have done it. That's all, information typed in. Here is Google welcoming us and presenting us their terms of service. We would agree to them all by clicking on, I agree. Following, it allow us to save to the Google Cloud. You can keep it selected and it'll make a backup of your data on this device to Google Drive. I will not select it, you can utilize that option if you prefer. We just click on accept. Google Play Store is started without need to open it manually and automatically. To set up the video game, we must get to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this icon indicated green colored. Today that we are exploring the desktop of that emulator, we can see that we have now right here the install app button. We then click on the button. Right here we access to the game app. So let's mouse click right here on the install option that I'm just displaying now in green color. Therefore it will initiate the software installation. 
Now it is going to download and install the Android game, it usually takes quite some time or it could be almost immediate. That all depends on our own web connection. It's actually ended setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking this specific button I'm showing in green, so that you can use traffic puzzle for the first time. Let me press on this my games option just above. We're presently on the emulator desktop, and so we are on the way to simply click that fresh traffic puzzle icon that was created. This Android game is started for the very first time. Here we end up with it, I could mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should talk about the sound level of the emulator. This is right here. We have got the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume. This way we do not depend on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of your emulator. As well as to appreciate the experience to the maximum, we can activate the large monitor, for which we have two alternatives. That is simply the very first one, we click on that app icon that I'm mentioning in green color. Then the display screen is maximized, experiencing one border on top, one at the right and the third one at the bottom. Assuming that we like to run the game using all the screen, we click this particular application icon. And then we would probably presently be enjoying the gameplay in 100% screen setting. To escape the full screen functionality, press the F11 key. And we'd currently be in standard display mode. At this moment I am ready to demonstrate you the keyboard mapping and that is definitely quite useful. This strategy we will be able to play the game app more effortlessly. The very first point is to click on this software icon. And here you will have the ability to complete the necessary setups. I can keep the normal configuration, though if you want to change this, you may well do it without having problem. As you can notice, the emulator is absolutely in our own language. Sometimes it occurs that your emulator is started in the erroneous language, as an example, in Japanese. And therefore to set it up in the proper language we click here to the cogwheel. Then right here throughout other configuration settings, we click the language drop down. We may determine the language we like, Italian, Chinese, etc. As soon as the language is decided, we would save, the emulator will restart, along with the video game, next time we start it, would also be in the opted for language. At present, you will find another thing that we must take into consideration, and this is that we will receive an email indicating that a completely new device has been connected to this Google account. It will definitely ask us if we're the people who have connected that device. Yup, we ought not worry, because the emulator is simulating an Android smartphone or tablet. In order to identify which smartphone or tablet is being emulated, we come back right here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. And so we browse here to the, model, selection. And here we realize that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for our tutorial. I hope that you appreciated it, particularly that everyone found it informative. If so, give it a pleasant thumb up, subscribe to the channel, and any remarks, concerns or suggestions, put them in the comment field below. You can also leave a remark on my Twitch channel, I do live streams occasionally, you have it below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Mouse click on any of these online videos that are appearing on the list of videos to watch and let's have fun again in the upcoming videos. Bye.